Good morning. This is Monday, May 27th, and today's devotion is The Life That Lives. This is Luke 24. Stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive life itself from the ascended Lord. The baptism of the Spirit isn't what changes us. It's the power of the ascended Christ coming into our lives through the Holy Spirit. Too often we separate what the New Testament never separates. The baptism of the Holy Spirit isn't something we experience separately from Jesus. It's the evidence of the ascended Christ coming to dwell within us. Did you catch that? Too often we separate things. But it's the evidence of the ascended Christ, the Holy Spirit filling us, is the evidence of the ascended Christ coming to dwell within me. Are you still waiting to receive the Spirit? If you are, it isn't because of God. In Luke 24, the disciples are told to wait in Jerusalem to receive the Spirit, to be clothed with power from on high. But there is a specific reason why they must wait, because at that time the Spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. That's John 7. As soon as our Lord was glorified, what happened? Exalted to the right hand of God, he has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and has poured out on what you now see and hear. That's Acts 2. That's a wonderful, wonderful couple of chapters to encourage you of what we have to work with as a church today. We have to embrace the revelation that the Holy Spirit is here now among us. After our Lord was glorified, the Spirit came into this world, and he's been with us ever since. This means that unlike the disciples, we do not have to wait. If you haven't yet received the Spirit, it isn't because God is holding the Spirit back from you. It's because of your lack of spiritual fitness. Openness to the Holy Spirit is the maintained attitude of the believer. In other words, you walk ready to receive at any moment. If you're still waiting for the Spirit, consider what you're denying yourself. The baptism of the Holy Spirit isn't for time or eternity. It is one amazing, glorious right now. Now. Now this is eternal life that, you, that they know you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That's John 17, again, the priestly prayer. Begin to know him now and, and never stop. The challenge I have for us today is very simple. Uh, have we received the fullness of the Holy Spirit? We call it entire sanctification. We get it upon initial sanctification when we get saved, but there's a fullness that applies here when we entirely sanctify ourselves to God. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that it's because of the ascended Christ, as he sat at the right hand of God, the power hand, and was given all these gifts, and he sent it down to us. And now we can, we can live and breathe and walk and work in the power of the Holy Spirit. Be with us today, Father, as uh, we would receive the Holy Spirit and go and do as he would lead us to. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.